implementation research and knowledge sharing specifically for primary health care to ensure that UHC across the continent and this country is achieved on a primary health care foundation. Secondly, creating a fit for purpose health workforce, digitally enabled and internationally ready so that young people who are trained in these countries can serve anywhere in the world and they are ready to serve anywhere in the world as they serve the continent of Africa. Third, we are focused on leadership management and governance because primary health care and UHC cannot be achieved without health system governance and leadership. It's as important as a skilled health workforce. Finally, outreach to communities through vaccination, outreach, supporting communities. And I would like to say we are proud that we have one of the first movable vaccination units right here, this groundbreaking. So we are actually vaccinating people here for COVID-19, recently launched with the Ministry of Health and the County Government of Nairobi. All of these pillars, we are determined to support diversity, inclusion, and equity. And we will be starting an AMREF University Scholarship Fund to support women, young women from marginalized communities and fragile countries to come and study at this university. That's why we are building a hostel block <laughs> to serve countries across the continent that have inadequate workforce. And this scholarship fund is going to be started immediately. Once again, Excellency, distinguished guests, I thank you most sincerely for sparing your time to be with us today. Thank you very much. And it's now my honor to invite uh, my newfound boss, Honorable CS Senator Mutai Kagwe, Cabinet Secretary for Health, to take over from me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your Excellency, President. Mugai Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces. Our guest, the Deputy Hisho Director General, Bwana Gitahi, I dare say that um, the boss-ship is not listened, but anyway. <laughs> uh, friends, colleagues from AMREF, and uh, other visitors who are here with us, and the leadership of the Ministry of Health, the leadership of uh, our neighbor, the Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital, led by Dr. Olive Mugenda. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Your Excellency, before I make one or two remarks, allow me, with your permission, to invite uh, Dr. Tedros to also say something about this. I know I'm ambushing you, Dr. Tedros, but please uh, uh, let me welcome you to say one or two things. It is not every day that uh, the Director General of the World Health Organization is standing here in Kasarani. So, um, <laughs> please. So I think this program was uh, planned earlier and uh, I was not even uh, uh, expected here, but uh, because of the other events we had, I was invited by my dear brother, Gitinji Daktari. <laughs> um, and then I said, I said, okay, uh, but I was not sure if I would speak, but I prepared something if I will be sad. <laughs> so in case, <laughs> it's always good to have uh, plan B. <laughs> plan A was listen and go. <laughs> and plan B was in case I'm invited, I have to say something. Um, your Excellency President Kenyatta, my dear brother, uh, Excellencies, dear colleagues and friends, it's an honor to join you today for this groundbreaking of the new campus of the AMREF International University. AMREF has made a tremendous mark on Africa through its health training programs in the last 65 years for nursing, community and public health, uh, training over 20,000 workers. That's truly a remarkable achievement and one that should be 
well noted and emulated because good health starts in communities. Our health workers are the backbone of our health system, the first line of defense against health emergencies and the foundation of primary health care and universal health coverage. We must take care of our health workers just as they take care of us with good pay, good working conditions, and good training. This groundbreaking is an important step toward building healthier, safer, and more resilient communities in our Africa. Um, I think Dr. Tari had already said 60 years of partnership with WHO, and we're proud of that. And with this new uh, project now, I would like to assure you, my brother, our, our full uh, support to realize your vision. And I can see from this investment and from the regional hub that we inaugurated earlier today, and UNEP and UN Habitat and UNON at large, and also the other uh, UN agencies, not only the, uh, you know, those who are focused on health, I can see that uh, Kenya is the home of the UN. And this is because of the support uh, of uh, President Kenyatta and the support of the government. So I'd like to use, I would like to use this opportunity uh, to thank His Excellency on behalf of the whole UN family, not only WHO, uh, for your hospitality and for all the support. Uh, and from our side, as UN family and as WHO, we will do everything to support Kenya, but not only Kenya, the institutions we're building here are very important for our continent. And I'm glad to see Kenya contributing to our continent in its uh, development uh, end over. Especially in health, I can see that health is clustering, and I think many more will, will come, and more positioning Kenya as, as, as a hub, and preparing, especially our continent, to do better, you know, emergencies will happen, to do better in the next emergency, better than uh, what we did with, with, with COVID. Again, uh, thank you so much uh, for inviting me, uh, my brother, and also thank you so much for your leadership, uh, Your Excellency. And I will join our religious leaders um, that I also pray uh, that this election in about a month uh, to be peaceful, pre, during, and post. And that's what we need in our continent. We don't need violence. Transfer of power should be peaceful. And I hope that's what, and I believe that's what Kenya deserves, and that's what each and every country in our continent also deserves. And I hope Kenya will show us the way committing to peace during this uh, election. So I wish you all, all the best. And I believe that God is with you and it will be peaceful. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Tedros. Uh, Your Excellency, may I begin by congratulating uh, Dr. Gitahi and the entire AMREF uh, fraternity for this very momentous occasion and the launch of what is likely to be a very great institution serving both our country the region, and indeed the global uh, community. Your Excellency, your government has been associated and cooperating with AMREF over many years. But may I highlight that over the last two years, Dr. Gitahi and his team have virtually become an extension of the Ministry of Health. We have done so much together. And the reason why, why uh, Dr. Gitahi is saying that I became his boss is because every time we had a crisis, every time I didn't quite understand how we were going to get out of a situation, I would call him and tell him, come to my office. Does he know I was heading for Nyeri? Forget Nyeri, come to my office. So, 
So that's why perhaps, and um, I, I think through that, the intensity of our relationship, you know, has even, in, has even gone higher. Your Excellency, in February of this year, AMREF also assisted us in what was called the Curriculum Conference in preparation for the next generation of health workers. And we raised many questions in that conference, which you gladly opened. We raised the question of what is it that we should be teaching a health worker who is going to be the health worker of excellence in the year 2030 and beyond. And I'm glad, Your Excellency, that through the cooperation of um, AMREF, which funded it to an extent, and the universities who are here, including Dr. Githenji from the University of Nairobi and the other universities, we have gone a long way in preparation of a new conference, of a new curriculum for how we are going to train all our health workers, both at KMTC, in the universities, and in all institutions. We have corroborated with the faith-based education system, the private sector, as well as those in your government, Your Excellency. It is then not surprising that AMREF has led the way in creating this institution, which we believe is going to lead the way in training this new health worker. May I also mention, Your Excellency, that in discussions with foreign governments, those that want our health workers to work in their countries, AMREF has agreed that they will be part and parcel of the training of the people who are going to leave Kenya to go and work elsewhere. Starting, Your Excellency, with training people in Italian. You know, we have uh, got um, a request from the Italian uh, health institutions, and uh, AMREF has offered that in addition to KMTC, if there are other requirements for extraordinary training that our health workers you need to work overseas, then they are happy to assist us to do so. And therefore, this institution, sir, this institution will enhance their capacity to train our health workers. We are very proud of the health workforce in our country. We are very, very proud of them. And they have done an exemplary amount of work in both quality and quantity. But you know, something good can always be made better. We don't want to be told that we are the best health workers in Africa. That's not enough for us. We are too ambitious. We want to be told that we are one of the best health workers across the entire globe. And that is our ambition. Because, sir, uh, we are buying equipment. We bought today, you launched the cat lab, cat lab in uh, KU, and other equipment. We are advancing our equipment system in our hospitals. But they can only be useful if our human capital is also equal to the job that you have set out for us. Therefore, sir, I would like to congratulate you because of the support you have continued to give our health system, because of the support you have given institutions that are related to the health administration of your government and, your, and, and our country. And I would, I would like to say, sir, without fear of, ex, fear of contradiction, that the system that we have set forth with your direction is going to be one of the best anywhere on earth. As I said, we have already got uh, people coming to Kenya for treatment, initially from Africa. Moving forward, we will see people from Europe coming for treatment here, the way they go to India. <laughs> and, and, and therefore, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to ask you to remain upstanding so that uh, I can invite His Excellency the President to come and speak to his people. Asante ni sana, mungu asifiwe. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> asante, 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 Pastor Mutahi. <laughs> Please be seated. <laughs> My dear friend and brother, Dr. Tedros, the AMREF family here today, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
Let me begin by saying it's a great pleasure to join you today as we do this groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the AMREF International University campus here. Let me also say that as we open this, we are opening it in conjunction with a number of other events that have happened today. The opening of the CAT lab facility in Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital. The groundbreaking ceremony of the WHO Africa facility. And now we're here talking about training young men and women from Kenya and Africa who will be at the vanguard of utilizing and working in these different facilities. So for me, it's an especially happy and I dare say proud day as we focus our minds on the health and well-being of our people as a country, but also as a continent. As we have heard, ladies and gentlemen, the AMREF International University is founded on experience and intellect of AMREF Health Africa, and it's over 65 years of quality and innovative public and community health intervention and training. So today, I want to commend the university for leading the way in the health services education through a commitment to progressively develop innovative programs that cater to both present, but more importantly, to future health needs of African populations. In the same breath, Dr. Ari, I congratulate you and the entire AMREF International University Fraternity on the ambitious expansion plan to scale up training for healthcare workers, not only for us here in Kenya, but also across the whole continent. And today's launch <laughs> is just a part of that process. And as I said earlier, we are proud to be part of this great and wonderful journey. So ladies and gentlemen, human resource is the core building block of a health system. We can have the latest technology, modern medicines, but all these are futile if the human element is of substandard quality. In the delivery of the services to individuals and communities, whether preventative or curative, it is critical that we have a skilled, well-equipped, well-paid, adequately supported, and well-trained health workers. And indeed, in our case as Kenya, for example, our efforts to attain universal health coverage is going to be largely dependent on the availability of a health workforce endowed with the right skill sets and supported by delivery of accessible and affordable health care for all. It is unfortunate that the COVID-19 pandemic has delayed our UHC progress and indeed has left a strain on our health system. So therefore, we have no choice. We must increase investments in training and policy reforms within the sector, as Mutahi has just said, to make up for lost ground. I wish to emphasize that Africa's social economic success post-COVID-19 must be anchored on the recovery of our health systems, which itself will undoubtedly rely on, a health, on the health of our workforce. The availability of health workers in Africa is considerably worse when compared with other regions in the world. This is a situation characterized by a healthcare worker shortage, 
and also unequal distribution of that vital resource between our rural and urban areas. Additionally, despite having 25% of the world's illness burden, our dear friends at WHO, using their estimates, inform us that Sub-Saharan Africa has only 1.3% of the world's trained health personnel. This large deficit has created a pressing need for at least 1 million community health workers, 350,000 midwives in Sub-Saharan Africa just to achieve the critical minimum levels. It is also worth noting that millions more existing health workers lack the necessary support, equipment, and training required to make them fit for purpose to deliver on their mandate. Although gains have been made, the health personnel shortfall is predicted to get worse to attain the universal health coverage and our sustainable development goals, it is predicted that at least 14.5 million health staff workers will be required by the year 2030. But indications are that only 8.4 million health personnel are likely to be available. And as such, the shortfall on our continent will rise to approximately 6.1 million by 2030. And this is what we must all work towards bridging. Africa's shortage of health workers has constrained our nations from adequately responding to pandemics, for example, like COVID-19. It has restricted our ability to achieve health equity and broadly speaking, generally just meeting our population's health needs. And it is for this reason that my government, through the Ministry of Health, hosted the first of its kind health workforce conference in Mombasa early this year, which I had the pleasure to open, to deliberate on how exactly we are going to plug this gap so today, as we are here to witness the groundbreaking of the AMREF International University, this is not only welcome, but it also gives us confidence that we shall have the capacity to fill the personnel shortfall by training more health workers of all cadres, including community health workers, volunteers, who also contribute immensely to promoting access to healthcare in our local and our more remote communities. Kenya's health sector strategic focus is grounded on the principles of our constitution, Kenya 2010, our vision 2030, and our big four agenda. But this is also intertwined with our continental as well as our global commitments. Our constitution guarantees the right to health and provides for health services management through a devolved system of governance. The social pillar of Kenya, Vision 2030, also stipulates that in order to improve the overall livelihoods of Kenyans, our country has to create an efficient and high quality healthcare system. This is reinforced by the efforts to attain universal health coverage, which also forms a critical pillar of our Big Four agenda. Furthermore, to address the health workforce challenge, my administration has also developed a strategic and well-focused Kenya health policy covering the period 2012 to 2030, and which elaborates the long-term policy <coughs> directions that the country needs to move in to achieve our health agenda. By going forward and cognizant of the role of health in realizing our dream of a better Kenya, 
we commit first to fully operationalize community health services as a platform for primary health care and UHC by ensuring that community health units operate effectively with adequate human and financial resources. <laughs> Secondly, to establish progressive frameworks for improved industrial relations between national and county governments and health worker unions, for improved welfare in order for us to have better productivity from our health workers. Thirdly, to mainstream community health workers into our health systems by integrating these community health workers into the national HRH strategic framework, including the execution of related strategies and the establishment of a legal framework that provides for the recognition, training, and compensation and a clear career path for our community, community health workers. <laughs> and lastly, to increase sustainable and equitable domestic financing for community health as part of our primary health care. And this includes mainstreaming pandemic preparedness and response investments with robust contributions to the health system including of primary health care and community health. These and other efforts, however, will only succeed through a robust partnership between the government of Kenya and like-minded partners. It is worth noting that our health care response is predicated upon three main players, the government at both levels, national and devolved, the private sector, faith-based organizations, non-governmental organizations, but also support from development partners and other non-state actors. We must all pull together and work with one accord towards the good of our people. So ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I call upon all our partners including the private sector, non-governmental organizations, and our institutions of learning, to join us in our quest of strengthening Kenya's health workforce. I want to once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank the board and management of AMREF University, as well as the wider AMREF fraternity, for seeing a gap and daring to fill it. Asante Nisan. Congratulations. Congratulations. It has been a pleasure and an honor to lay the foundation stone for the development of this university, and we look forward to its successful completion, and I look forward to joining you on the day of opening. Well done. Tafadhali tusimame sote kwa wimbo wa taifa. Asante tunashukuru sana mheshimiwa rais kwa kupata nafasi ya kufungua rasmi na kuafikia uh, ndoto yetu sisi kama wanafamilia wa Amref eh, katika kuanzishwa rasmi kwa ujenzi wa chuo hiki. Shukran na tunakuombea maisha marefu na afya nzema kila wakati.
wengine sote tafadhali tutulie tukiwa tumesimama ili mheshimiwa rais aweze kuondoka kwa hiari alafu baadaye tutaelekezwa asante we may sit we may be seated now tunaweza keti kwa sasa ili tumruhusu eh, mheshimiwa rais aweze kwenye mkulima tutakuonyesha jinsi ya kupanda mboga za kienyeji. Kitu ambacho nataka kuangalia katika hizi mbegu ni kuna uhusiano upi kati ya hizi mbegu ambazo ni nyekundu zingine ni nyeupe ambao unayofanya uh, unafanya hizi mbegu zipendwe na wadudu. Kisha kutukuonyeshe jinsi ya kuzitayarisha jikoni. Tane Jumapili saa 9:30 kwa wondo kamili. Kupata ulimi na mafikira kama sikiza chun kwenye simu yako, bonyeza star 8